we have a very special guest in our parish, in this bazaar, we have you, Markna, and uh, sisters from Vitrusland, uh, they came to us since some years now. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? Sure. Well, my name is Sister Anna, and uh, we came from St. Elizabeth's Convent, that's uh, located in Minsk, in Belarus. So, and the name of our convent, St. Elizabeth's. It's a big convent, no? Uh, actually, it is a big convent, and uh, it has started not uh, long ago. It's, uh, we just celebrated 15 years. Mm -hmm. So, it's a very new convent, but it's very original. So, uh, the reason why it uh, has been original, because not only monastic sisters, as people used to see, can um, live and work in the convent, but also regular people have a chance to come and work in the convent, which I uh, really uh, think that it what is exactly make it very special. So, and uh, it has a very nice history. It just has started with a few sisters who just uh, came uh, to serve uh, God. And, um, well, they are um, just, uh, they were just the students from the university and they were young uh, girls who decided to dedicate their life to God and um, uh, then they had a blessing from Father Andrew to go to take a boxes, donation boxes and go to the street and started collecting money. So in order to build the more to start building a monastery, mm -hmm. because uh, as they could see that uh, many girls start uh, started coming to the monastery and asking uh, for joining also the monastery, and uh, it's a beautiful history because it comes from uh, Saint Elizabeth Romanov and. Um, so your your relics is in Jerusalem, no? Yes. We visited in in a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. We visit her relics uh, near Gethsemane, St. Mary Mag Magdalene's uh, monastery. Yeah, yeah. the relics yeah. there. Yeah. I was also there in the mm -hmm. first time, my, my first time in Jerusalem, and uh, it's really a wonderful experience. And that, uh, how patron <coughs> is. So, yeah. and that was her idea uh, to create such a monastery like this. And, mm -hmm. uh, well, and we also had a wonderful experience when White Sisters, Sisters of Mercy, after many years of uh, joining the convent as Sisters of Mercy, they decided uh, to give their life to God completely and they are become monastic sisters. And um, it's a beautiful thing that also, uh, for example, families, we have our, uh, examples of families where uh, mom <coughs> and dad working for the monasteries because monastery has many uh, workshops. So, and um, they both, mom and dad, working in the monastery and then uh, their children started working in the monastery. So it's, it's something that... So what was it, is your life then? It, 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 or have, have you vows or any just vows? Your sisters that come here? Uh, no, we don't have any vows. We didn't give any vows. Uh, so we are sisters of mercy, mm -hmm. and uh, we are working for the monastery. But we do have our families, like mom and I'm, for example, I'm living with mom and dad, and I'm working in the monastery, and I'm living right next to the monastery. So it's this is this is I have decided myself yeah, yeah. that I have to live yeah. next to this place because uh, well. But, but you are not married, no? The no. sisters of mercy, no. they do not. They do not marry, but they are they allowed to marry because yeah. they are living with their families. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, and... Um, but, but you have some married sisters too? No. Uh, well, sisters of mercy. mercy. Yes, yeah. sure. No. But yeah. monastic sisters, yeah, yeah. they no, are no, of course not. Of course not. Yeah. 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 And we have uh, many monastic sisters, about 112. Monastic sisters and about 400, I believe, right now, uh, sisters of mercy. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, right. it's, a, it's a very big monastery, so and... Uh, do you have a special time you do this, or, or you can... Yes, do virtually do have a special time. We are working from 9 till 6 o'clock. But, for example, well, sometimes it's not enough to do all the things, and uh, it's often we stay in longer. And um, we have a regular a day off, a Saturday and Sunday, but uh, so it's, uh, like, for example, Sunday, 
we have a special a coffee. It's a special prayer for our patroness, Saint Elizabeth, that we are uh, going, sisters are going all together to pray to Saint Elizabeth, and we have this prayer at 5:30 every Sunday. So, and then we have a, every Sunday we have a meeting with uh, Father Andrew. Uh, he's a spiritual father of the monastery. We have a special uh, this meeting every Sunday where sisters are um, have questions. Uh, they could are um, asking uh, some questions while well, sisters are sharing their experience because uh, you know that uh, um, every sister has her, uh, her own duties that mm -hmm. she has to do during the whole week. So and, and also some spiritual questions that I think it's very important to um, to discuss and uh, to share your own experience. I would just say it short in Swedish what is it so yeah. that uh, det är så att uh, det här Sankt Elisabeths kloster i Minsk i Vitryssland det är inte så jättegammalt det är 15 år gammalt och uh, uh, det grundades med det var några uh, kvinnor som var väldigt ivriga andligen och ville börja någonting och de fick en andlig fader och de gick ut och samlade in pengar och det är uppdelat det här klostret i, i nunnor, re, reglerade nunnor alltså, mo, monastiker som man kan säga på i, i rysk ortodox tradition eller i, i barnhärtighetssystrar som systrarna här och eh, de kan vara gifta eller ogifta, de bor i sina familjer men syster Anna till exempel bor nära klostret så hon kan komma direkt och eh, de hjälper till där de arbetar för klostret och eh, de får också andlig vägledning av en präst eh, i, i klostret så att det, det handlar inte bara om att utföra eh, arbete. What kind of work do you do in this? What, what, what's the, the mission here? Because you collect money here Sweden and so on. What do you do in the monastery? Well, our mission is, for example, we are sharing. So, and we do our um, several trips during the year. So, and every time we have to uh, get ready for this trip, and it takes a lot of time because we do make our schedule. So, and we are participating in different uh, also markets. And, uh, for example, now we are going to participate in Christmas markets and hopefully to bring joy and some happiness for people. And, uh, uh, well, that and uh, tell about uh, Jesus and then, um, well, and uh, talk about also our monastery and uh, hopefully that we could also bring this happiness to our people from Sweden and uh, Norway and also Finland. Mm -hmm. So and um, uh, so and it takes us uh, trip takes usually one month and a half and then after our, this trip we have uh, some day off so we are. Um, taking some kind of vacation, if you, if you can say so. And after that, we're getting ready for the next trip, because, our, uh, for example, like in summer, we are uh, enjoying a medieval festivals yes, yes, so in Scandinavia, and it's a, it's a very interesting experience. Uh, so, and um, this whole time just uh, goes by, and uh, it actually goes by very fast. So, Systrarna åker alltså runt en och en halv månad i taget ungefär och på olika marknader, basarer etc. Och på sommaren är det medeltidsmarknader då som säljer de sina saker från eh, Vitryssland för, eh, för det här ändamålet. But what, what are you using the money you collect for? Or what, what do you do with this? Well, our priority is our, our rehabilitation center. We do have two rehabilitation centers that our sisters are running. So one of them is for men and another one is for women. So and we have about 200 homeless men living in the first rehabilitation center. So and we do have to provide uh, food, clothes, so everything for them. And um, that's people they are suffering from um, Alcohol. There is they are also suffering from. Uh, they are drug addicted people and also just homeless people. So and they're the same one we have for women. So and it's about 20 women living there now. And uh, well, we're trying to. Sisters are uh, trying to give them another chance to live, and uh, they are also. Uh, well, they are. Uh, praying together with them and they are doing some work with them and uh, they talk about or um, they talk about God and um, uh, 
and that hopefully these people who have suffered so much in their life, they could, uh, they could uh, uh, see and understand that there is another life could be if you live for, um, if you live with God. So and uh, it's not easy because you know that people that have suffered very much from um, alcohol or from drugs and um, so they they are just sometimes they deciding to they dis, dis, could decide to leave their rehab center. So but when uh, the winter comes, so they are coming back and you know they are um, saying that. Uh, they are saying sorry for uh, running away from the center, but again, it's our. We have to forgive them as many times as they come back, so it doesn't matter. And it's also, um, um, and uh, in this way, sisters also can grow and uh, and uh, well, hopefully, uh, like our uh, <coughs> Father Andrew has said, and uh, our spiritual. Um, Father, he has said, if even one person uh, could be saved, uh, could go to heaven, so uh, that means that everything that we have done is for reason. Sister säger, Sister Anna säger här att de har ju rehabiliteringscenter i, i Sankt Elisabeths kloster i Minsk. Och just nu har de cirka 200 män som, och, och 20-tal kvinnor i två olika center som de har. Och de hjälper de som har drog och missbrukare, alkoholproblem etc. Problem med sitt liv, alltså med sig själva. Och de vill ge dem ett nytt liv, de vill ge dem en chans och en ny start. Och, och, och både på det andliga och det fysiska planet. Och de tar hand om de här människorna och naturligtvis så springer vissa iväg. De försvinner ett tag och sen kanske de kommer tillbaka när det blir vinter. De behöver någonstans att vara och bo och så. Och deras andliga fader, fader Andrew, han vill säga till dem att även om ni hjälper en människa att nå evigheten, att nå det eviga livet, då är allt det här arbetet inte förgäves. Det är, det är en vacker tanke. Vi som ofta tänker bara i kvantitet och så här. We are, we are so used to that we must help many, many people. We are not used to think that it's... If you help one person, it's important. We, we don't think like that, you know. Today we, we want quantity. Yeah, we yeah want yes, to take it. not quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What, what, so what, what, when you go back to 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 the monastery, what, what's your task there? What, what are you doing? Uh, so as I said, I said uh, after I come back, and uh, hopefully it will be before um, our Christmas, Orthodox mm -hmm. Christmas, which uh, is celebrated. Uh, the 7th of January. Mm -hmm. So, but we start getting ready for uh, Christmas and then we have uh, another beautiful tradition during the Christmas time. Uh, we have our uh, tradition to our uh, visiting houses and just singing Christmas songs. So, oh. uh, and this sharing Christmas our, uh, mood with the people and uh, which is, uh, I think, uh, personally, that's a beautiful tradition. Yeah. All the and sisters? Uh, All the sisters? Yes, uh, most of them. Those who have can sing. Yes. Uh, well, yes. it doesn't matter. But, uh, when we have some sisters that could not sing, but they want to sing so much. And yes. well, you cannot say that. You, you don't, don't stop sing. them? No. No, no, no. no. So, so <laughs> and, uh, everyone is singing. And we actually go in, or we have tradition going to Poland uh, oh. also. So, and singing there. Uh -huh. and, um, well, it's, and I also think that it's, uh, it's just a beautiful time, Christmas time. So and um, well, you just wake up in the morning. Uh, you have uh, your morning prayer, and then you're ready to go and uh, in every house and sing till the evening, till a very late time. Also, the wichtigste thing for sisters, and I understand that it's the Christian witness burden. It's not just to perform a barmärtighets work. And we talk about after they have celebrated their Jubilee on the 7th of January in the Orthodox tradition. So they're out there and singing Christmas carols, also Jubilee songs. Och det är att vittna om Kristus är född för oss så att det, säger, det ger glädje både till systrarna men det är också glädje åt de som tar emot det naturligtvis. Och, och då frågar jag om får alla systrar att sjunga även de som inte kan? Och, och det får de. Det. Alla får sjunga. Alla får sjunga med. 
<laughs> man stoppar ingen så att säga. Ja. How can people that watch you here from our uh, homes, how can they help you? It is important. Uh, well, if someone uh, would love to help us, uh, we um, well, we have a uh, we do um, well. Actually, we have a website, and everyone can take a look at it. And we also have a beautiful website. It's like can you in, say it? Um, I can say we, it. we will write it on on um, our. I don't have actually with me, but I could just uh, think pronounce our website. It's uh, obitel. It's o b i t e l uh, dot uh, b y. So it's uh, the first word. I'm sorry. The first uh, word is Minsk. Minsk. Then it's our um, obitel, as I said, and dot b y. And it's our website. But also we will write it on. on, on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then we have a beautiful internet shop. So it was an internet shop. Yeah. We just created and uh, well and for alla köpgalna så var systrarna en yeah. en uh, internetbutik som man kan beställa. Yeah. And it works from Sweden? Yes, everything works. Mm. And uh, so I just would love to welcome everyone to visit our um, internet shop and also mm. our website and um, well if you want to buy something I think uh, well, it's a way to help us. So please That's visit very it. And to buy when you are around. In yes, the and you have yeah. a real chance uh, to buy it from us when we are traveling around Sweden. Yeah. Systern har underbart vackra saker. Naturligtvis när det är jultid så när det är julsaker, julgranskulor som är handmålade och sånt. Så fantastiska saker. Och det samtidigt som man hjälper till i denna begärtansvärda verksamhet som systrarna gör och, och det gör de med ja, vad jag har förstått med mycket stor uppoffring också i deras liv. Men de gör det av glädje och kärlek till Kristus och, och, och vill göra någon precis som under Teresa av Kalkutta brukar säga Let us do something beautiful for God. Låt oss göra något vackert för Gud. Thank you sister Anna. Do you have a little message for us in Sweden? You, you have been in Sweden now many times. Can you say a little message for us? Oh sure. So, so from your point of view, what you know? I apologize that I do not speak Swedish, yeah. but um, I really like jo uh, coming to Sweden and uh, uh, talk with the Swedish people. And um, I just, or uh, my wish is, uh, to say every one of you have a wonderful Christmas, and also to you, Father Joseph. So and um, uh, remember, it's a special time of the year, and. Um, we also, uh, every one of us, uh, has to be also ready to meet uh, Jesus and to prepare ourselves for this uh, moment because it's a very important moment. It's a moment of our birth of our, our Savior. And we have to make sure that we're ready for this and um, do as many good things as you can. and. Um, and just uh, and just pray to God, and God will never leave you. So, you know, I think that our task are not to forget God and re remember Him every moment of our life, every minute, and uh, uh, as much as we can. So, and uh, so everyone, and I, I really hope that uh, God uh, fulfill uh, your hearts with happiness and joy, and. Uh, Thank you very much to all of you, you Father Joseph, mm -hmm. also because we have been a very good friend of our monastery. I hope we are here. Yes, we and we would love to have you in our monastery one day. And, but you could see everything with your eyes and mm -hmm. uh, with what you have helped us. I, also I hope we, we will bring a, a, a group of the parish for two. Oh, to we would love to. We would yeah, love yeah, to, to, to yeah. see it by ourselves. But thank you for coming because it's a great witness for, for, for us too here, you see, that you come and, and, and show this work, you know, for us and so on. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. God bless you. God bless you.